Right, there's loads and loads of ash dieback. Look at it all. Everywhere you look, there's ash dieback. It's really bad over here. And there's a path. Look, danger quarry edge. That's the path I probably have to go up to get out by that other one I was the other way. And you come out here anyway. Some love, lovely little um, spring flowers coming out there. I can see a quarry on the other side of the road, which is the redundant quarry. And normally what I do, I get on a path somewhere down there. It's a mystery tour, everyone. It's a mystery tour, it's a good one. Lots of little flowers there, look. There's so enough room. Very interesting junction point here, look. So that is a quick way up, by the way, and down. But here's the other way, where you can go up there. <sighs> Just let it dry in the wind. Right, there's a map here, look. Might be handy to hold on to it. It was floating in the wind. Um, so there we go, look. So you can go up that way, or you look to me like you can walk round. So there's another way I can try another time. But I know where I am now. And I've still got a big hike. The big hike, rather than being able to go up the road to get to Shipham, I'll be doing like a detour. I've recognised this path though, because what it was, I used to see this pathway. I used to see this pathway. Yeah, there's the road, look. Right. Hold on a minute. Let's just put that there. See that there a minute? I'm going to put this in my bag. lower down ones which you could do in reverse another time if you felt like it but at the moment we've still got quite a hike because what it is this takes us out onto the Shipham Road um, 
course I should have studied the map there could actually be a way to ship them without doing the massive detour that I've got to do with a risk of cow but um, I don't mind doing it because I haven't done it for a while near the perch look at that lovely green on the leaves look well, I got across this very very dangerous road now this is what I'm saying you can't walk up this road even though it's only a couple of hundred yards to get to the West Mendip Way from here. It's not really far. It's steep and bendy and fast. Really, really dangerous. And there's no public footpath, which I am surprised at. But there could be. Now, I always used to see this. But the path I've got to get is up there. So... What I have to do is, um, I don't know if I can get across there. I'm sure there's a way and there. We're not. Well, it's got to be here, hasn't it? Is this path there? entrance here. Now as far as I know, I'm getting on the path in a minute, I know where I'm going. There is not a way, a path, that takes you all the way to Shipham that way. As far as I know. Excuse me, love. Oh. Right, so what I'm doing at the moment, as far as I know, there isn't a way past going to Shipham. So I'm having to do the long route. Look, he's going where I've just come down. Look. But I actually don't mind doing it because I haven't done it for a while. He's going up where I was. I was hoping there was this route would take me all the way to Shipham because if that was the case, I would just walk all the way to Shipham along here, but I don't think the path goes as far as Shipham. I think it stops the other side of the quarry and it doesn't go any further what I reckon. It's not actually far West Mendip Way. But there again, we're out for the walk for the day. So basically, it is a hike. I've got to walk around this old quarry here now. I've got to risk cows and mud. What I remember about this part of the walk is that the farmer does not fence the cows off very well and uh, it can be risky. He also covers all his, his gates with barbed wire uh, so that you can't sort of avoid the cows by going into a field. It's just, it's just it's risky. Now it would be great if we could find out if this path went all the way to Shipham. But as far as I know, it doesn't. All I can remember is a very, very steep, bendy, fast, dangerous road. Now last night I forgot to check the map. I was going to check the map for this little path to see, well and I'll need it for another time anyway, to see if it, uh, because to go this way and up there, that's a hell of a hike, but there is a lower track. There is more to explore, right? There's more to explore, but you've got that hike out from Winscombe first before you can get here. So, 
So there we are. I was all over there. Here's the fast road, and it's not. Look at the size of the lorries. Look, it's very dangerous. I walked along a stretch of that. Could have been a year ago, or a bit longer than that. And I really took me life in my hands. I went down there and then walked that spend. Oh, that was dangerous. Anyway, folks, I don't mind doing this. I just hope that I do be. I can get home later. Um, I just hope I can get home. But we've got to do the diversion. It's, it was only a couple hundred yards that way on a very, very dangerous road. And I think the path disappeared, but it might not have. But not to worry, we'll do this bit because I haven't done it for a long time. It's a nice day to do it. It's not too hot. So we'll go this way. Quite often I used to be coming the other way. This is bypassing a redundant quarry opposite the busy working quarry, which is over there. And I found a way around it and I was right. Now, what we've got to remember, this part of the walk from now on is the only hill you've got to do. After you've got up here, everything's downhill. All the way back to Winscombe. Right? So once you've done this, which will take you time and energy. But you've got the risk of thick mud and cows when you get up the top. That's the only problem. Right, I'm going to turn off. Back home when I get to the top. <laughs>